Hi guys! Welcome to vlog 50! Grabe! 50 na! Ibig sabihin... 50? Halfway! Ibig sabihin, dami natin tayo. Halfway na tayo to 100 vlogs. So... Lang. Nung nag-start tayo ng... Oh, ano yeah. mo ba yung nasa car tayo tapos? Sobrang awkward. Oo, oh, oh, yung parang, welcome to our first ever... Tapos, kung saan tayo nakatingin. Tapos, ang pay-pay na mga lip-tick. Oh, ito mo. Uh, uh, sa inyo guys na been with us since vlog number one. Alam nyo yun, yung walang sawang nanonood. Kung nanonood man kayo... <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, just a few more uh, push and hopefully we will reach 1K soon. So, if you haven't done yet, please um, support our channel by um, hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. Also, please like our videos and also share, it, share them to your friends. It will really help us a lot. At dahil, this is a very special vlog. Very special din ang aming kakainin. So, alam nyo naman na, ang aming favorite. We love ube, di ba? So, yung part 1, to nyo ba na mapanood? Part 1, link is here. So, sabi ko doon, bakit hindi tayo nag-ube cake? Kasi nire-reserve namin yung ube cake for our Vlog number 50. So, this one is from Caramia. Oh, di ba? It looks so yummy. And then, we also have, syempre, coffee from ang favorite namin French vanilla from Team Horton. So, this will be a very chill uh, vlog. Chikahan tayo. Living in a pandemic world. Kasi, syempre, everybody can relate to that. So, we're all in the same boat. So, unang tanong ko sa'yo, bes. Ano yung first reaction mo nung nag-announce si government ng lockdown or quarantine? Nasa office ako nun eh. So, sabi ko, ah, oh, finally, you want to work from home now? Kasi super tagal ko talaga ang request yun. Eh, sa company namin since it's back, malabo. Parang hindi feasible for Kasi them. confidential mm -hmm. information. So, yun ni eh, Yun yung pinaka- Ano talaga yung reaction? Sabi ko, gusto ko mag-work from home. Tapos, sabi ko, ay, saglit lang ito. So, hindi ko kayo wala itong gamit ko. So, ang initial reaction ko is, naku, wala lang yan. Parang, oh, oh. sabi ko, oh, after two weeks, back to normal. Yes. Parang, hindi ko pa nun um, nag-grasp kung gano'n ka serious. Wala naman lahat eh. Uh, Oo, oh, lahat tayo. Kasi, nung binaba nila yung lockdown, Yung eh, parang yung Chinese na mag-asawa eh. Oo, oh, oh, parang pa isa-isa. Ito ko pala. Under 10 cases ba lang lang mm -hmm. So, parang talagang wala pa tayong idea na it will be as big as this. this mm -hmm. And as long, di ba? Kung hindi tayo umalis sa araw, parang may <laughs> Pero talagang cake and coffee. Oh. Mm. Wow! Cheers! hobbies or new things na uh, ginawa nyo during the pandemic? Luto and exercise. Yes. Hindi lang halata <laughs> sa akin, pero nag-exercise ako. Actually, sa akin, number one yung working out. Yes. 
before pandemic, ang physical activity ko lang is yung um, casual badminton. Yeah. So, nung nagkaroon ako ng time after uh, doing the lockdown, kasi hindi ko mapasok yung mga bata eh. Um, nag-stay home sila. So, parang naisip ko lang, sabi ko, bakit try ko ulit yung mga YouTube videos na pinafollow ko before? Try ko ulit. And, biking! Yes, so oh, hard! Diba? <laughs> biking! O oh, yun, um, nag-start lang kami dito sa ikot-ikot sa village and then sa malapit sa uh, labas and then hanggang sa alam niyo naman kung sa sana kami nakarating so may mga vlogs din kami ng aming mga bike rides and so far the longest one is yun uh, 100 kilometers na bulaan so panahon niyo dun yun kung hindi niya pa napapanood grabe Masarap. Ang tabay ko na nag-i-crave na ito. Ito na yung damage namin. Masarap. What are your gains and losses during the pandemic? Gains mo na tayo. Ay, hindi. Losses mo na tayo kasi tingin ko mas madami yun. Number one, social life. <laughs> Travels. Yes. Uh, Japan. For me, yung Taiwan. Yung upcoming, yung upcoming namin na mukhang di matutuloy. Supposed di magsisecure kami ng November. Pero that doesn't look like patangas. Ito yung biggest for me. Bakasyon ni Daddy. Two years to natin siya hindi makikita. Isa pa is yung sa Airbnb namin. Meron kasi kami yung condo na pinapa-Airbnb namin. Obviously, Dati, before pandemic, halos fully booked siya the whole month. Siyempre, di ba, yung income na makukuha mo from that, makakatulong yun sa amin. Isa bang super laking impact for me is, I lost three of my friends during the pandemic. Ito yung parang isa sa mga hindi never kong ma-imagine na in a span of less than two years, tatlo sa kanila. And, iisang circle of friends to, kung bagay isang group lang to, yung colleagues ko sa work, hindi pa siya fully nagsasink in sa akin na parang feeling ko, pagdating ng back to work, makikita ko pa rin sila. And I know, lahat tayo, one way or another, um, siguro, nawalan ng, so hindi man family, friends, someone you know, di ba, from school, How about games? Bukod sa time. Games? Bukod sa muscle. Patch. Games ba games? Ano? Time talaga. Time with my mom. Ako din, time din. Kasi, bukod sa time for my family, for the kids, yung time for myself din. So, one last thing siguro. Realizations. Savings. Siguro. Kasi sa lahat nga nung parang naapektuhan na, hindi talaga natin alam yun ang mangyayari after day. So, hindi na-look forward ang lahat. Hindi prepared. Hindi tayo lahat prepared. So, una sa pag nagkasakit ka, ang laking epekto nung financial. Pangalawa yung hindi ka makapag-work na sumunod sa protocols and kung ano man sumunod. Huwag matigas ulo. Huwag matigas ulo. Kung bawal lumabas. Kung wala naman tayong kailangan gawin sa labas, huwag nang lumabas. Kasi, lalo na for us, ang daming bata kasi dito and senior si mga. So, ang hirap yun. Hindi natin alam kung sinigil. 
Siguro ako naman, biggest realization is, nothing is permanent talaga. So, nawala yung, <laughs> bilang nawala yung katabi ko. So, yun, um, nothing is permanent. Live your life to the fullest. Kasi life is short. Enjoy it with your family and with your friends. Spend time with your family. Cherish what you have habang nandiyan pa sila because you will never know kung ano mong pwedeng mangyari. So, like this pandemic, di ba? Hindi natin to ina-expect na this will happen but it happened. So, so yan. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you guys. We'll see you again in our next vlog. See you on vlog 51. Bye! See you next time! Thank you.